Welcome to the Learning D2L Podcast, where in each episode we look at best practices when using Desire to Learn and the various tools within the system. In this podcast, we're going to look at how to view your results on quiz attempts, especially if there are multiple attempts allowed. So the, I've already taken the quizzes here, and I'm at the course homepage. To view quiz attempts after you've already closed out the quiz from taking the quiz, then you go to the assessments link here, click on quizzes, and you'll see all the quizzes that are still available to you. You'll see how many attempts you've made on those quizzes out of how many were possible. This one, I've taken two attempts out of possible three. Now to view how I've done on the quiz, I need to click on this little down arrow behind the name of the quiz and click on Submissions. And then I see the two attempts. And if I click on Attempt 1, I can then view whatever the instructor is allowing me to see. This is going to be different for virtually every quiz. You may just see your score. You may see what questions you got incorrect, which is the setting here. Um, it does not state that here, that that's what it's showing, but it, you notice over here to the right that it's showing that I got zero points out of one. So that would indicate that I got this one incorrect. There also could be an indication of what the correct answer is. That is not showing up on this view. This view only shows you the questions that you missed and your response. So when you come here, you're going to have to kind of interpret what the professors have allowed you to see um, based on how many points you've received for it. If there's an indicator of what the correct answer is, you may be able to see all of the questions and see the responses. You may see all the questions and just the correct answers. There's a lot of combinations. So you'll uh, usually your instructor will tell you what you're seeing. But in this case, like I said, this is the questions that were missed and my responses for those questions. And then if you click Done, you're able to go back and see the second attempt. And this one, since there's no questions showing up, it means that I got all the questions correct. Now that's just for the settings that were provided for this quiz.